Hi there, and welcome to Draw Anything and Everything. I'm your artist, Mickey Malarkey. You know, I love watching other people draw. Some people start over here, some people end over there. You never know what it's going to look like because everyone draws differently. All you need to do to make a really great picture is to have something to draw on, something to draw with, and a lot of enthusiasm! Enthusiasm! You know, we're getting really good at this. We need our three ideas so we can make a great picture today. Let's see what the imagination box has in store for us. And here we go. Uh, oh, the first one, insomnia. Do you know what insomnia is? That's when he can't sleep. We're gonna have a very tired something in our picture. The second idea is a pig. All right, I think we can work with that. And the third and final idea is a toothbrush. Are we gonna have a tired toothbrush? Well, there's only one way to find out. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get drawing. All right then, we have insomnia, which is when a person can't sleep, a pig, and a toothbrush. <sighs> Let's see, you know what? Let's keep this nice and simple because I think we can have a lot of fun with it. I'm gonna make our pig friend the tired one. So let's start with the snout, right? Everyone loves a good snout and this will really start to center our picture. If we start right in the middle with that big pig nose, right? And we'll give it a couple little ridges here. Now, if you haven't slept for a long time, your eyes are gonna be big and bulgy so let's let's give our pig that look right the nice big eye and the other one nice and big and bulgy and probably have some bags under it if you haven't slept in a while probably even look a little a little worried that you're not going to fall asleep anytime soon and you want to have those wild eyes you know that if you've ever seen this but uh you kind of want to you kind of want to have that the look of panic, right? You've been up for a very long time. Sometimes if you really want to distinguish between the eyes, you can put a circle around one of them. And now you can see this pig is really, really having a hard time um, with, uh, with whatever's keeping it awake at night. We'll give it a bit of an eyelid as well, all right? Just a nice one up top to round out the eye. And uh, now you're starting to see our, our pig is starting to, to, to look a bit piggish, right? Probably they're a little, uh, you know, a little grumpy because uh, of what uh, what they're going through. The other thing we're gonna put on here is uh, the top of their head. So, big friend, nice little bumpy head. Maybe they have a few hairs just kind of kicking around. And uh, pigs have those nice big triangular pointy ears. So let's give our pig a nice big triangular pointy ear. There it goes, up and down like that. So, we had the start of our pig. Um, we want to incorporate a toothbrush somehow too. And I was thinking about this, and, and you know, I think the best thing to do would be to maybe the toothbrush is the reason why this pig is still awake. So let's put it into the picture like that. I'm gonna make a toothbrush sticking out of our pig friend's nose. Yeah, that's, that's something that'll keep you awake, I think. All right, so there, there's a nice toothbrush sticking out there. Look at that nice, easy toothbrush. And that's probably causing some of the discomfort. And uh, why don't we, uh, why don't we have a toothbrush sticking out of the pig's ear as well, right? Like this is, this is a, a pig who's really run afoul of the dentist and has uh, found themselves in some misfortune. Um, <laughs> why not? Let's do one more. One more toothbrush sticking out here, right? And now I think we have a pretty good idea about why our pig friend is having such a hard time falling asleep. They've used a toothbrush in all the wrong ways. So there's that now and we can round out the pig's head. So let's do a nice nice chunky clumpy head like this. Right there we go. And the pig is probably, we can finish up the nose now, it's probably not too happy about this predicament they find themselves in. So we can do, uh, we can do a nice big uh, grumpy mouth. There we go. And we'll do a chin. Now the pig is probably wearing uh, some kind of pajamas, right? Because they're in bed trying to trying to get to sleep. Um, and we can also put uh, their little hands here, just ready to hold the blanket. 
and put a nice blanket going all the way across here. You can really start to get a sense of what this pig is going through. Um, and the rest of the arms there and the body there. Of course, if they're in bed, we want to put a pillow. So let's give our pig friend a, a pillow right behind their head. And, uh, you know, there you go. I think we have a pretty good sense of what's going on here in this poor pig's life. Um, and when you have someone in bed, you probably want to just have a little contour of their body. So you know, this is, this is where they're at. This poor guy here, maybe you don't want to look at here. He's having a hard time falling asleep. Let's give him some color. Um, so starting with, uh, starting with the nose, let's use uh, maybe a little bit of a darker pink to start out. All right, just to really separate it from the rest of the pig. There we go. There's a nice dark nose. We'll do some, some of that darker pink here too for the ears and for the other ear, the rest of the pig. Some lighter pink. There we go. And uh, I love pink. I think it's such a cool, versatile color. It really, everything you draw with it uh, or color with it, really just automatically become so bright and vibrant. There we go. There's our pig friend who's having a hard night. Hopefully our pig friend doesn't have to work in the morning. It's going to work tired is really, really lousy. There we go. And uh, now for the pig's feet, maybe a nice, uh, nice brown maybe. There we go. And there we go. What do you think about pajamas? Pajamas, how about a lovely, like, kind of like tealish blue color. I think my dad used to have a pair of pajamas this color and they had buttons and uh, and I always thought uh, they looked cool, but I don't know that I could sleep in that. I'm more of a sweatpants guy myself. There we go. For the blanket, what do you think? Nice blue blanket. Who doesn't love a blue blanket? There we go. And uh, for our, uh, our sheets, perhaps uh, just to mix it up, a little bit of orange, all right. And, uh, and now comes the fun part. We get to color in all the different toothbrushes. So this one could be a, could be a green one. And uh, this one over here could be a yellow one. And finally, the last one could be a purple one. And, uh, and there you go. We kind of have uh, we kind of have our uh, our pig friend all together. And we'll just do this for the uh, for the comforter. And you can end there if you want to, or if you really want to keep going, you know, something easy is uh, maybe this pig is uh, counting sheep. So we'll put a, we'll put a sheep here. Uh, it's a nice simple sheep, right? And maybe there's another one because you can't just count one sheep. That that won't get you very far. And over here we'll put maybe one more one more sheep. Right, and they should all have numbers because if they're counting, then uh, why not? Here, let's put this one there. Uh, 18, there we go. And there you go. There's our poor pig friend uh, with insomnia because they have not figured out how to use toothbrushes properly. Hope you enjoyed. Well, now I've got to tell you, I absolutely love the picture we made today. I mean, look at this poor guy. What a terrible night he's having. And I learned something too. If I'm ever having a hard time sleeping, I need to check to make sure I don't have any toothbrushes sticking out of my face. Thank you so much for drawing with me. I'll see you again next time. Take care now.